This is the second helicopter that we'll be looking at. This one's made by Double Horse. It's the 9053, and this is a 26-inch helicopter. This is significantly larger uh, than the S107 that we were looking at previously. Both these hel tel uh, helicopters, excuse me, have um, gyroscopes in them, so help stabilization. As you can see, this is a uh, this is a much larger in comparison to the other one. Um, this is radio controlled, from what I can tell. Uh, it says that it's on 40, uh, 40 point six nine oh megahertz, I believe that says. Um, I'm not sure what uh, helicopters usually run on as far as uh, uh, channels and stuff. I know that uh, a lot of the airplane stuff that I fly is 72 megahertz and of course the new 2.4 gigahertz. So we'll be unboxing this and taking a look at this as well. Well after opening the box uh, the charger was the first thing to fall out. looked like it was on the bottom of the box here. I haven't checked to see where that goes yet. But the helicopter itself seems to be tied down well with uh, metal straps. Uh, here around the rotor and also around the legs, the landing gear down here. Uh, I can see the battery. I ha I'm not sure what size battery this is. I want to say it was around a 1300 or a 1500. I got a couple extra 1600 uh, Sky Lipo packs, two cell packs. I'm hoping that they will, won't be too big for this helicopter to carry. So we'll take a, a check at that a little bit later. Uh, the radio, it looks like it's got some... Uh, uh, nice features. It looks like it's got uh, a quick and slow switch here. I'm not sure how that works. Um, and then it looks like this might be a trim. So we'll take a look at that. And uh, it looks like there's also trim, standard trims. Uh, the motion feels really nice on this transmitter. So we'll get it out and take a look at it here shortly. And then we'll uh, give this helicopter a test flight as well. I'd like to do test flights both outside and, and inside, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So here it is out of the box. As you can see that this is a uh, full metal frame helicopter. Uh, there's not a whole lot of plastic parts on it. Um, everything, actually the land, these landing gear are, they're kind of uh, rubbery almost. So the first flight outside didn't go too awfully well. Uh, it smacked the fly bars on its way down. It was being pushed around by the uh, wind quite a little bit. But um, I, a lot of that is due to my inexperience. And also I think it could use a little bit more forward thrust to penetrate through the wind a little bit better. It felt like I was kind of being dragged around and stuff. So we're going to give it a try inside here and see how it flies inside. So as you can see, um, it flies a little bit better inside than it did outside on my first flight. I was able to keep it a little bit more stable than I was outside. The fly bar doesn't hit quite as much. Uh, the fly bar seems to hit when you throttle down quickly. Um, I have discovered that uh, several people have shown that there's a modification that can be done on these uh, where you reverse the, uh, um, the shaft, the main shaft here and uh, it gives you more room between the two blades so that the 
fly bar doesn't hit. So, and also I've heard other people say to give it a little bit more forward thrust uh, to enlarge the uh, uh, the rotor on the back here. So we're going to try that. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty decent helicopter. It's not perfect, but for the price, I believe it's very good. And if you're not afraid of a few small modifications, um, it should be a good flyer. Look for a follow-up video shortly uh, where I have done the modifications, and we'll see how it flies.